Patrick Knight in Cardiff, Wales as the first premium live event to hit the United Kingdom in 30 years certainly lived up to the billing and then some. Hello everyone, I'm Mackenzie Mitchell for WWE Now with all the results from the first ever clash at the castle. Drew McIntyre had the Welsh crowd in his corner and the big fight atmosphere had the WWE Universe thinking the unimaginable was finally possible. With the Usos sidelined, was Roman Reigns' two-year run as champion finally coming to an end? When the head of the table told Principality Stadium to acknowledge him, the Scottish warrior answered on their behalf with a Glasgow kiss. With Superman punches, spears, guillotine holds, and more, doubt began to creep into the champion's mind as McIntyre continued to kick out in stunning fashion. Amidst the chaos, Austin Theory came looking to cash in, but a quick hook from Tyson Fury stopped Mr. Money in the Bank right in his tracks. McIntyre had the titles in his grasp following a massive claymore, but Solo Sokoa emerged to rip the official from the ring and set Reigns up for the victorious spear. There are personal rivalries, and then there is the rivalry between Nat Riddle and Seth freaking Rollins that has set a new standard for animosity. The visionary was ready to play the role of the devil on the shoulder and use the original bro's rage against him. Rollins used Riddle's bro Derek for a crushing attack that weakened his opponent. As Riddle attempted to work his way back, Rollins connected on back-to-back -back stomps, with the second one coming in from the ropes to leave an exclamation point on the win. He has had plenty of memorable moments as the arrival of Rey Mysterio, but Edge showed his respect to his luchador teammate by making a masked entrance of his own. The action spilled outside the ring as Rey Mysterio left Damian Priest hobbled and split over the barricade. The Radar R Superstar and the Ultimate Underdog teamed up for a 6-1-9, and Edge snapped Balor in half with a spear to earn the win over the Judgment Day. But the biggest fireworks were still to come, as Dominic Mysterio kicked Edge below the belt and leveled his own father with a clothesline to leave the WWE Universe stunned at the betrayal. Liv Morgan keeps excelling when the lights shine the brightest as her Cinderella title run made its way across the pond. The SmackDown Women's Champion responded to Shayna Baszler's punishing style with a surprising streak of aggression. The submission specialist nearly captured Morgan in her clutches, but the champion kept battling and battling. Once given an opening, Morgan came firing at Baszler with a double knee attack and then an oblivion that allowed her to retain in hard-fought fashion. It was brutality at its finest as two of the hardest hitters in WWE traded Haymaker after Haymaker in the Intercontinental title war. Gunther reunited Imperium heading into the match to perhaps offset the power of the brawling brutes. Sheamus fed off the Cardiff Wales crowd and grabbed control of the match with thunderous blows to the chest of the Intercontinental champion. The Celtic warrior was on the doorstep of becoming an ultimate Grand Slam champion, but his back gave out and opened the door for the ring general to close it out with a hellacious lariat. Even in defeat, the crowd showed their appreciation for the Celtic Warriors' efforts and showered the Irish superstar with a loud standing ovation. The battle for control of Raw hit a whole new level when Bayley, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky brought the fight to Bianca Belair, Asuka, and Alexa Bliss. There was plenty of bad blood left from the women's tag team title tournament that boiled over early in the match. An incredible triple moonsault showed off the full arsenal of the Raw Women's Champion, but the teamwork of Bayley's group kept the EST from nailing her KOD. Bailey swooped in for a pin of Bel Air to deliver the victory and send a major statement to the Red Brand. The energy and Principality Stadium was high from the opening match, as Madcap Moss and the Street Profits fed off the crowd's energy. Austin Theory and Alpha Academy tried to shush the competition, but Madcap and Angelo Dawkins plowed through the opposition. A high-risk assisted blockbuster from Montez Ford kept the energetic trio in control and set up from the heavens top rope splash to clinch the victory. So who will be the first to fire back when superstars head to Raw this Monday at 8, 7 central on the USA Network?